Alright, what is up guys? My name is Tomazo and welcome back to another video of mine. In this video I will be answering your questions in the YouTube comments. And um the So let's get right into the questions. First question is Um does slouching or bad posture slow down mewing progress? Yeah, you need good posture all over your body combined with the tongue to get the best results possible and of course chewing too that's really important it's as important as the tongue posture thing if not even more um, and yeah if I chew gum I chew gum around 40 minutes a day you don't need to do it more than that in my opinion um, and yeah nothing can replace gum it's the best thing there is that's the most natural way of exercising those muscles it replicates hard food exactly so gum is the best why do I speak English to people in public when I live in Finland well the simple answer to that question is because so you guys understand what I'm saying and so the audience could enjoy my videos did I get a deep voice naturally when growing up or did I boost it somehow the answer to that is it, it's a completely natural voice I didn't use anything to, to boost my voice um, if he meant taking testosterone or something no I I don't I didn't I didn't do anything to boost my voice please can you recommend a solid home workout where I'm at gyms and schools don't open yet a solid home workout um that's a tough one because you need to lift heavy weights to really build up that muscle if that's what you're after but I mean, you can, I mean, doing home workouts, of course, maybe it would build some muscle if you're a beginner or something, but I don't really know if that's too effective, if that's what your goal is. What's more attractive, a bigger jaw or protruding cheekbones? That's a good question. Um, maybe a jaw is slightly more important. And cheekbones is more like a, a bonus, like a aesthetic feature that many models have. Does chewing make the jaw rounder and less sharp while increasing in size? Um, no, actually, chewing makes the jaw very sharp. How to keep good posture during quarantine, sitting all day? Um, go for walks if you can. That I've recently started you know, going, going out for walks, you know, it just feels like it keeps your body in good shape, kind of, and in addition to the gym, of course, um, yeah, just to, helps, helps with the posture, and just walking, because if you don't walk, if you don't, something as simple as walking, actually, I think it's pretty significant in terms of, um, how you look, um, even if you wouldn't think it does, because if you just sit down all day, um, then your muscles become stiff. You de you do develop bad posture, um, unless you're trying to keep good posture purposely, um, and as a result, your tongue posture becomes bad, and you just you just grow really badly, especially if you sit down a lot during puberty. Um, so I recommend you know to those teenagers to you know be as active as possible that's probably the most important thing you can do what languages do I speak I speak Finnish and English because I lived in Finland actually right now I'm currently living in the UK in the south of the United Kingdom because I'm studying here I'm studying in university and I kind of regret coming here because it's um I think the situation here is a bit worse with the virus thing so like there's no clubs open I think pubs are closing soon you have to wear a mask on the bus um, so yeah and also like all, all of my classes are online so I, it's kind of pointless being here to be honest As, like you guys probably noticed like my setup my room is different right now that's because I'm in the UK right now living in a in a student residence so I've been trying to mute for almost three months and still the back of my tongue is only partially touching the upper roof 
any suggestion. Um, try to have like good posture, helps engage the root. And you could try that mewing, mewing device I advertised in my previous video, that could help. My opinion on the incel and or Luxmax community. Um, the incel and Luxmax. Yeah, they're, they're, that's a community that I guess just thinks Lux is all that's important in life and to attracting girls and stuff for men. And basically, incels um, are people who don't get girls at all. So, um, my opinion all is that their theory is partially true and partially not. It's like you could say it's somewhere in the middle of blue pill and black pill, they call it. My opinion is that the reality would be somewhere probably in between both. It's hard to say. I mean, to be honest, I have no idea. I don't think... Yeah, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. And something I want to tell you guys is that I've been looking into getting like um, this kind of MSC face mask appliance thing that really would push your maxilla upwards and stuff and I might be going to meet Mike Mew um, sometime um, not sure when uh, depends if I organize an appointment with him so would you guys like it if I recorded the meeting if I record if I'm allowed to record the meeting with Mike Mew so you guys can see what we talk about. So that would be pretty exciting if that happened. And also um videos that I've kind of been considering doing and that I kind of feel passionate about in a way is doing kind of like these prank videos because like well, believe it or not, you guys probably don't know this about me, but I'm kinda of like a I like doing pranks kind of, I'm kind of that kind of person, so I, I'd be like, you know, doing, filming like, kind of pranks, like social pranks or something too, um, so that'd be pretty funny if I, I have some like pretty funny ideas. Alright, so that was the q and I hope you guys found it helpful, um, please do subscribe to the channel, join the journey, and like the video too, and I'll see you guys next time.